I'm Natalie Kesar. I'm a documentary photographer and a Canon Explorer of Light. We've been here at the University of Missouri School of Journalism for how, like 48 hours, but it feels like a week. We've packed so much into it so far. She's been talking to our students one-on-one -on -one and providing great classroom experiences from a real photojournalist working in the field around the world. I was able to give a lecture last night, sort of an artist talk meets discussion of what it's like to be a photojournalist and some practical advice for the students. That was really cool. Also, we gave a couple of workshops yesterday looking at the realities of being a freelancer in the industry today and personal aesthetic and style as a documentary photographer and how to develop that for the students. Natalie presents a very wonderful opportunity for our students to see somebody in the field that looks a lot like them. One thing that really inspired me from Natalie's speech was her talking about how she's drawn to these communities and how she's just compelled to go cover certain things. I went to the Canon Speaker last year and also this year, and both years I've just walked away with a feeling of inspiration. I really enjoyed learning from Natalie Kesar because she does a lot of non-linear, non-narrative photo essays, and she was able to give me a lot of helpful feedback about developing style and keeping that work consistent. Hanging out with Canon cameras in the lab, lots of students are coming in and out. Spending time with Natalie in portfolio reviews, they were dying to get a chance to have one-on-one -on -one time with her. And they did workshops yesterday. Natalie spoke about freelance photojournalism for two hours, which was fantastic. And then she talked about finding your voice and your style to a room of the most advanced students that really needed that conversation from her. It's been so cool to meet with the students here and, and see their work and it, it's really, it does give me so much hope for the future of photography. What I love to see is that these students care so much about the people that they're photographing. They're, they're technically good, we knew they would be. You know, this is a really strong photojournalism program and all of these kids know what they're doing. I mean, I look at their work and I'm just like, you're gonna take my job and I'm kinda happy to see it. What I love is the questions that they're asking. They're really, really interested in how can I, how can I do this work better, more ethically? How can I be a kinder, gentler photographer? How can we make the industry better as a whole? How can we incorporate more local voices and local stories? Just a lot of the really important conversations that are happening in the industry right now. Natalie brings a different vision to the school, and I really appreciate that. I need that. Canon has been in touch with us, bringing cameras and seating our locker with some wonderful equipment that the students are kind of itching to, to play with right now. And they've done demos where the students are sitting and learning about, about what cameras will work best for what situation, if they're a sports photographer, a portrait, or they're making documentary films. I mostly use a 50 and a 35. I have a lot of other wonderful kit that's super useful. I, I know exactly how they're gonna function. I never have to think about it. They do not fail. I like to get close to people, and even, even when things are crazy, I wanna be all up in the mix, and I think that's what makes the best pictures for me. My Canon cameras are kind of like extensions of my body at this point. Thank you so much to the whole Canon family. It's really, it's really changed the game for me to be able to work with you guys, and I'm so grateful because this work is my heart, and you guys are now a part of all of it.